Today, we're baking za'atar carrots and serving them on this tofu ranch sauce pillow. It's gorgeous and so delicious. Hi guys, welcome back to your favorite cooking channel, Bread and Butter. If you haven't yet subscribed, I suggest you do that right now. Today, we're gonna be, we're gonna be beautifying these carrots. I went to the farmer's market, I got a variety of them. We have these yellow ones, the basic orange ones, and these absolutely stunning purple ones that I think are orange in the middle. The plan is, we're gonna bake them up with some spices, and serve them on a bed of silken tofu with lots and lots of herbs. Trust me, this is delicious. First things first, preheat your oven. We need 200 degrees Celsius. I have no idea how much that is in Fahrenheit. Google it, please. All the details, as always, below in the description. Now I'm going to wash, peel, and chop up the carrots, doze them in some oil, and bake. And then, then we get to the silken tofu, herby situation part. the carrots are out of the oven. They're soft, but still a bit chewy. They've got a beautiful tan, they're crispy. Just let them chill. And we're gonna make um, the sauce. So the base of the dressing, uh, the ingredient that's gonna give it that wonderful creaminess is silken tofu. Not only is this the, the creamy stuff, this is the high protein stuff, and it's gonna keep our sauce vegan. To the source of protein, we're gonna add some healthy fats and chop in half an avocado. Now I wanna show you a little trick, like a little life hack, how I choose them. Just to make sure that it's ripe and perfect, not only can you kind of, kind of squish it around to make sure it's soft and not like rock solid, you see this little stem? Uh, if you remove it, you should just look at the color inside. If it's dark brown, it means it's overripe, you don't want that stuff, um, but it's a perfect, vibrant green which means that we have a perfect avocado. So half an avocado, and that's healthy fats. We're gonna add all the greens that you have in the fridge. So I have some chives here. I have some funny looking uh, parsley. I'm gonna leave some of this flowery, bushy situation to kind of decorate the carrots on top, but we're gonna use all of the stems because they're also very healthy in the dressing. I have a green onion and I have some onion powder and garlic powder just to give it like that ranchy, ranchy yumminess. Uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, and of course, this is one of my favorite ingredients, newt. This is nutritional yeast. This stuff is like, um, let's say it's like a cheese for vegans. It's very high in vitamin B, um, and it just gives that beautiful, mm, that nice little flavor uh, to the sauce. Now we're gonna mix it up in a blender. Uh, and plate.
I'm just admiring the plate. It's stunning. This can be served at the dinner table as a meal on its own because it's very balanced. You have uh, the protein and the fats and the fiber and the greens and everything you need for your body to be happy and for your mouth to drown in deliciousness. What could you do? You could sprinkle on some pomegranate seeds. You can add some nuts if you like. Um, but to me, it's just absolutely gorgeous as it is. I mean, this is the perfect carrot. Could you eat it raw? Of course. But when you bake it with za'atar, it just makes it next level. Let's give it a try. I actually also love the fact that we found some multicolored uh, carrots. It just adds that gorgeous pop of color. Okay, let's go. I always like to get some of that like tofu ranch thing. It just makes me want to dance. So good. It's kind of tangy and spicy. And za'atar is probably my favorite spice at the moment. I'm having like this za'atar moment. Let me just read you what za'atar is. I have to translate from Czech to English. So it's sesame seeds, sumak, timian. I think that's, what's timian? Thyme, timian, uh, cumin, it's thyme. Cumin, oregano. This stuff is amazing. It's just basically really, really addictive. And it goes well with the carrots. Mm, what I like to do is I cook way too many carrots and just leave them in the fridge because you can always add them to like a little cooked veg salad or drown them in this tofu ranch dressing. I hope you love it. Please, please, please leave me a comment below if you tried this recipe and if you like it. And let me know what else you want me to cook. Do you want more vegan dishes, more, just more veg or more protein? Drop me a comment. I always like to hear from you. I'm gonna go eat this stuff. So good. Mm.